output of the Citadel demonstration from Epic and I'm navigating. You can experience the fluidity of the game. So this is one of the most advanced uh, 3D games? Yes, kind of this is a, a very sure. demanding technology demo, if you will, for a gaming platform. Uh, and this has been ported on the Blaze, which is running the OMAP 4430. A processor with the XGX 540 at uh, 307 megahertz. This is just a simple port of the game to the tablet. There's no particular optimization of the game itself or of the game engine from Epic. And already you can see it's, it's very fluid. You can tap and then the game is taking you through this, uh, this village. You can appreciate you know, the texture for the clouds and also for the, for the floor in the village, the, the, the dynamic lighting, yeah. The reflection, the shading, it, it's pretty It's pretty awesome. So, this is the Blaze uh, TI OMAP 4430, 30, and yes. how much faster is the 4440? The so 44 the 4460 will, uh, will have the SGX 540 clocked at 384 megahertz, so you can expect uh, 25 to 30 percent additional performance when you go to the 4460. Then there will be the 4470, which will use the SGX 544, which is additional shader performance as well, and then of course OMAP 5 with a dual SGX544 core. So uh, this is just the beginning for us, but already I think it positions the uh, OMAP4 as a really compelling platform, platform for gaming, which is not something that uh, you know, people uh, had in mind when they're thinking of OMAP. You connect it to HDTV and you have a console at home. Yep, you can play, you can play a game, but already on the tablet it's already awesome. But then you put HDMI and uh, you connect to a TV and you can play console quality gaming at home. Native code made with like a, it's not just a JavaScript uh, game. It's not just Angry Birds. It's also like a oh no, there is the OpenGLS 2.0 type of uh, 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 processing behind there. 